Okay, you sat down with my favorite comedian, Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin is so funny. You know she's a D-lister. We had a chance to sit down with her when she came back to her hometown. She's like an A-lister now, though. Quite possibly the most outspoken woman in Hollywood, Kathy Griffin continues to tell it like it is. I sat down with the D-lister to discuss her new book, New Boy Toy, and The Big O. Everybody loves Kathy. Women love you, really? guys love you, the gay guys love you, everybody Oprah? loves you. That maybe not so much Oprah. Is this your ticket to get on Oprah, this book? Yeah. This, um, this book has been chosen for Oprah's book club. Really? The point is she hasn't technically chosen it yet, mm -hmm. but I'm expecting a call from Gail any minute now. So Gail calls for Oprah. And or then... Stedman. Okay, sure. Really, any of, anyone from Team Oprah <laughs> that wants to choose this book <laughs> probably will very, very soon. Is that when you make it? When you're on Oprah, that's it. You're, you've made well, the A-list. I don't want to just be on Oprah. I want to be in a girl-on-girl -girl relationship with Oprah. <laughs> Really? That really sell books. Oh, yes. That's better than any book club. That's like the whole special Oprah Love Club. Wow, I'd like to see that. Who wouldn't? Now, you've talked in the past about a sex tape. Maybe, you know, it's time for you to have a sex I tape. I think, yes. I would like to announce that I have a sex tape with Oprah and Gail. Oh, that's fantastic. I, I'd I'm like gonna to get see it to that. you as soon as I can. I can't really? quite find it yet, but <laughs> it's real. It does exist, and I will get it to you as soon as I can't wait I will get to it to you it. the day that Oprah chooses this book for the book club. How about that? This book has many Chicago centric things about it. There, you know, I'm an Oak Parker. Went to grade school right. in Forest Park. Right. Oak Park High. What were you like in high school? Um, well, I was all about the drama nerd click. Okay. And that's where I found my gays. Really? I found my first gays. <laughs> and they followed you ever since. And I have loved them ever since. I didn't necessarily know they were gay. And for some reason, they didn't ever want to go past second base, which I still take personally. I actually, just last week, saw my Oak Park High boyfriend, Tom Murphy, and his husband of 20 years. <laughs> I really? Gay, yes. That's fantastic. I am a gay maker. We're still friends. And That's he's a fantastic. choreographer at Disney World. <laughs> yeah, of course he I is. I mean, it doesn't get gayer, right? How's your love life? You know, I'm in a relationship with... Levi Johnston. Yeah. Still? Oh, yeah. If people don't know, Levi Johnston, can you explain? Yeah, Levi Johnston is my current boyfriend. Very right. serious, very serious relationship. Mm -hmm. And he is Sarah Palin's daughter's baby daddy. <laughs> now, I know you're, you're right. laughing as if yeah. that relationship is based on a publicity stunt. Yeah. To maybe sell copies of my new book. A wonderful book. But, wonderful. no, it's real love. I, I found love in my life, and how dare you laugh at us. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Is oh, he a, I feel it kicking. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I'm having a little Johnston. And you were on Jimmy Kimmel and you did a spoof on uh, Kate Gosselin. Yeah. The hair. Explain the hair to me first. All right. The hair is a statement. Right. It's a rebellious statement. About? About, um, she's emancipating her, herself one flock of seagulls hair do at a time. <laughs> so Kate Gosselin says, there's a new Kate in town. I, I've had a, a tummy tuck. Mm -hmm. um, my husband is uh, apparently sleeping around with every bar back in Reading, Pennsylvania. Right. Um, I'm angry. And I'm taking the scissors to my own head. Let's talk about your plastic surgery. Yeah. How much have you had? I've had a lot of dental work, is what I call it. I've visited the dentist many, many times. Let's just say my gums are in very good shape. And anyone they who says they haven't is, is lying and full of it. Uh, you mentioned that in your book about uh, every woman on TV has had some work done. Every woman. How, uh, how about a woman named Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> I mean, it's every guy now, too. It's out of control. There are post-op plastic surgery photos in here that are horrifying I saw them. and oh worth the price of the book alone. Oh. They're like they're like autopsy photos. They're wow. disgusting. Wow. They're disgusting, but I had to put them in because they're sort of so horrible they're funny. All the dirty laundry is in this book, as well as a lot of healthy celebrity bashing. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it's a story of um, Chicago girl who makes good. Right. Or Chicago girl who pisses people off. In season six, are we going to see a season six? Maybe we're working on it. Really? Yeah, I'm playing hardball. Oh. I like That's that. right. I, well, my dream is to do season six on Bravo and have just my mother join the Real Housewives of New Jersey. All moms are crazy, aren't they? Flip a table and she can out any it. of those dames. I love it. We have a gift for you too. <gasps> this is for your mom right here. The, oh, the box wine, right there. Look at. Wait a See, okay, this is for my Maggie. mother's dream gift. <laughs> and I, but what I like is that you did not waste money wrapping it because my mother, you know, the depression never ended. Right. For my eight year old girl. Well, she's Catholic. Mother. You don't throw anything away. No. no. Use it up, wear it up, make it do. Right. So I will absolutely be taking this to Maggie, and she will be blacked out by the time it's about to hear. Well, that's fantastic. And show the book before we go. Please. Kathy Enjoy. Griffin. Thank you, Kathy. Hi, this is Kathy Griffin, and you're watching 24 7.